I'm ready to go straight Oscar the Grouch on this hoe, okay? It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. It's been a minute since we've been up in it, but today we're back with a subscriber sponsored request. A lot of components, as you see here, many flavorings required for this dish. Coming in from Rochester, New York. Now the subscriber wants to be remaining anonymous, and so that's fine, but shout out to you, you know who you are. Anyhow, this is going to create a trash plate. So it's a very weird combination of a dish, but it seems like it's down dirty and delicious. I am making a few variations on it, my way, but pretty standardized. Anyways, it's trashy, let's get to it. First things first, a macaroni salad is required. Since it's a trash plate, I really went with the trash. We're going with the KD Mac for a macaroni salad. So right here in this bowl, I also have pickle, carrot, red pepper, green pepper, and I think that, oh, and celery. <laughs> pre-chopped, so we're just gonna toss that in. It was a very tedious chopping session, so, you know, I kinda just took the liberty to go ahead and do it up quick. All right, going in with a nice heap of mayo here, probably like three quarters cup, maybe a cup. I'm also gonna give it a little sweetness by way of coleslaw dressing. Gonna go go in with just a little squirt of Dijon for a little, little bite in there. Actually gonna bring back this little ranch powder, maybe put a little bit of this in here. Not a person who often eats macaroni salad, but I don't have any beef with it. It is good. It's just not something that's very often that I'm eating, but gotta take a taste test. It's very, very good. Wow, perfect. I want another bite. It's so good. Wow. Okay, so the next and possibly most important component of this is what goes all over the top of everything, and that is a coney style meat sauce. You guys know I love coney sauce and I have my own recipe perfected, so that's what we're making today. Go in with a good amount of butter for your pound of beef, because you want that extra fat content in the sauce. It makes it just that much better. Probably like three tablespoons. Okay, now that that butter is beautiful, we're gonna sweat out one small onion. Just get them a little warmed up and then we'll get the beef in here right after this. Coming in hot with the fresh loaf of beef. Break her down and brown her off. All right, once we've reached this stage, we're gonna come in with some seasonings. I'm eyeballing, little teaspoon uh, garlic, crushed garlic, maybe a little more than that. Teaspoon paprika, teaspoon chili powder, teaspoon cumin, dash of cayenne, teaspoon cinnamon, teaspoon oregano, teaspoon basil leaves, Couple tablespoons of ketchup, cracked black pepper, a little pinch of salt. Probably have to adjust that later. And then we come in hot with just a little bit of water to loosen things up because we will be simmering this down. And we let that simmer out for a while and let it develop its beautiful charm. Also going in with a little panko breadcrumb. You can use whatever breadcrumb you really want just to make it, uh, it makes it come together. I already know I always got to pulse off the beef. Just looking for that smoother consistency, a little less chunked out, more married together, if you will. So we're getting close. We got to toss these tater tots in the AF. So tots are going in the AF at, I just go full crank, 400, for usually about like 12 to 13 minutes. While the tots are finishing up, we gotta fry up a schweiner. So we gotta half the schweiner, of course. All right, just like so. Medium hot pan, for a little oil down for the schweiner. Do a good rubbing. Work her around a little bit, a little press once she gets going. See what we're working with here. Ooh, that's a little toasty. Got sidetracked. But the carcinogenic burn is, it's all good, baby. It's all good. We'll compromise on this side. All right, 
garbage plate and garbage day at my house, ironically enough. And that reminds me that I need to bring in my cans off the street after this video. Components are all dressed up here and ready for the show. We're gonna go down first with the mac salad. Try to do a little, a little yin yang, if you will, of mac salad and tater tots. Now that we got the firm landing of the mac salad, we can just dump the tots to stack up against the mac salad. Get a little height on there. Coming in with the coney sauce. Drizzed across the top. Bring in our crispy dog. I'm opting for some, some American cheese on this. Now I'm just gonna pop this baby in for a quick broil for these and then finishing touches. All right, we melty. So let's finish this off. Some top dressings. First things first. We got ketchup. And then we got mustard coming in. And the piece de resistance is fine minced onions spread all around and there you have it folks rochester new york and here it is in all its glory the garbage plate i am so curious as to how this is going to taste what is up what's good with y'all thank you for clicking on this video but also thank you to the anonymous subscriber that requested this also shout out another gentleman maybe i'll pop the name here from my community tab when i would ask you guys do you could you guess from the ingredients what i was making somebody hit it right on the head they said garbage plate so shout out to you i, I never even heard of this so you're putting me onto something new here but uh Obviously, I, I know the components, but I never knew there was a plate such as this, okay? <laughs> so, let's get into it. I don't really know how I'm supposed to eat this, so I brought all forms of weaponry. My arsenal is complete. I don't know if I'm going to need a knife, spoon, or fork. Probably all three. But, uh, let's get into this. I don't know how to start, but I feel like I need to bite everything together. So I'm going to try and make that a reality. And I'm going to do that by way of spoon, but cutting with fork and knife. Okay, so we have a tater tot, a piece of the weenie, a bunch of the sauce, and then the mac salad. Oh, we lost the tater tot. Okay. All right, y'all. Gang's all here. Inaugural garbage plate by Let's Do It. It's awesome. It is awesome. I was a little concerned in the beginning. I had my reservations about the element of the mac and cheese, how that was going to factor. If I can get you another little. This is another all encompassing bite. I thought that Max Holly was going to throw it off. Yet somehow, it works.
There's a lot going on. It's basically, it's just like a sweet, savory. Kind of some freshness. From uh, the veg in the mac salad. But uh, it's just a wild balance of things. What this reminds me of, though, is like a classic American barbecue style dinner that you just chuck together on the same plate it's it's almost like you're at the at the cookout and you're the type of person who likes to keep your items separate for eating but in this instance, you just wanted to load up a plate and all of a sudden everything was touching. And you said, fuck it, I'll mix it. That's really what this like encompasses in, in my mind. Is that exact scenario. And that raises an interesting question. Are you a separate eater? Everything sectioned off on your plate. Minimal mixing of elements. Or are you a combo junkie? Are you willing to put a little mashed potato on that bite of steak? You know? But yeah, it's got a little bit of that Detroit feel to it with the uh, the sauce and the dog. So we're blending cities. Admittedly, I had to do a little research on this when I was first requested. It seems other large cooking YouTubers have done this. So it's crazy to me that I've never heard of it. So thanks for putting me on game. And also my deepest gratitude again for rolling in for the sponsorship. These videos help me run my channel more than you could ever understand. They are so helpful to me, but they're also very fun and interesting to make because I learn new things I get put on a different foods and things that I don't know about and then I get to figure out how I'm going to execute it Like in this instance, this is usually made with like a cubed 
russet potato. But I just figured, let's just make it, let's take the potatoes to a different space. You know? It's hard eating though. Very hard eat, hard eat, eating. <laughs> I'm definitely full already. Although my appetite today was like it's already mid afternoon and I just haven't, I was never really starving today. Like, one of them days all right definitely want to finish off the hot dog that little last bite here Maybe I'll eat that in like 20 minutes or something, but. I feel stuffed. Okay, we have maybe one more bite. I'll do it. Very interesting. It is delicious. Is it something that I would seek to like make for myself for dinner at home ever? I don't know that that would enter my mind. I don't know that I would necessarily put this in the in in a roster for just eating. Like it it's, it'd be like a yearly, maybe one time, you know what I mean, or semi annually, maybe. Sp Definitely not quarterly, but you know, I don't know if it's one of those types of dishes. It seems like a once in a blue moon type food, but I would wonder how popular they are where they're sold and how often certain people come to get them. Like if this is like a, you know, like a, somebody who hits this every weekend in New York, right? Like they're just like, yeah, let's go out for a garbage plate. Like. That's highly possible. It could be somebody's favorite plate of food ever. So, very interesting though. All right. Shout out to you, my, my guy, and the rest of y'all. Um, that's it. That's today. If you're interested in one of these, you can communicate that with me through my email. And we'll talk and we'll work things out. Anyways, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. I'll stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.